guys, and welcome into another lesson today. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever gone to the bathroom and you're sitting there and all of a sudden you go to reach for the toilet paper and there is no toilet paper and so you're panicking and you're so afraid and you're like, oh no, there's no toilet paper. So then you ask mom and dad, mom, dad, I need toilet paper immediately. And then mom and dad come rushing in and they give you a thing of toilet paper and you're so relieved. And you're like, oh, I'm so relieved. I got toilet paper now. You know how good feeling it is that your mom and dad provided you with toilet paper? Well, we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about how God provides the littlest things for you and for me. But before we do that, let's get started on our songs. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Yes, I want to see. Cross to the grave 
Now you guys can have a seat. Now let's take a look at our memory verse given to us by New Creation Station's director, Miss Natalie. Hi, this is Miss Natalie, the director of New Creation Station, with your memory verse. The earth belongs to the Lord, and so does everything in it. The world belongs to him, and so do all those who live in it. Psalm 24, 1. Now say it with me. The earth belongs to the Lord, and so does everything in it. The world belongs to him, and so do all those who live in it. Psalm 24, 1. Has this ever happened to you? You race to the bathroom. You do what you have to do. You reach for the toilet paper, and it's empty. There's no more toilet paper on the roll. Someone used the last toilet paper and forgot to replace it. You look under the sink and there's no toilet paper. What do you do? You start yelling for help. Mom! Dad! Anybody? We need toilet paper! Now! My guess is that when you call for help, you get it. There's always been toilet paper, right? Well, not this year, I guess. All the toilet paper's gone because of the pandemic. But, there's always been toilet paper there. You've always been provided for. And if you're ever in any danger of running out, that's when mom and dad run to the store and they try to get some toilet paper off the shelves. Normally there's some. It's a good feeling to know that mom and dad are always there to come through, isn't it? As a loving mom and dad are, and as much as possible, God is even bigger. And when it comes to meeting our needs, true, God may not reach down from heaven and give you a new roll of toilet paper, but when it's peace you need, grace and love, and something that you can't buy at Walmart, only God can meet that need. God provides for us as he provides for the birds and the fish. Let's thank God today for the amazing provision and all that he does for us. Well, what do you think? I can't believe it. Look at all those things. They're everywhere. I know, right? I guess God was busy today on day, what day is it? Day five. That's amazing. Just yesterday, the sea was completely empty. Yeah, and the sky. But now look at them. There are creatures of all sizes down in the water and those flappy things with the wings. Amazing. Yep, God really filled this world with self-life. That's awesome, but I wonder if it's too much. Too much? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but all those animals in the sea? They're called fish. And flappy things in the sky? Those are birds. They all have to eat, right? Yeah, I suppose they do. Well, what do they eat? Where does it come from? What if the food runs out? I don't think there is any danger in that. How do you know? Because I've been watching them all day. God knew what he was coming up to days ago. He made all the food these creatures need to get going and keep going. So the fish and the birds eat the plants? Well, some of them eat the plants. Some of them eat other fish and birds. Something tells me the other fish and birds aren't happy with that. It's the cycle of life. It's the wheel of fortune. That's catchy. You should put that into a song. The point is, these 
fish and birds aren't worried where their next meal is going to come from. God's come, going to provide them. No wonder they all look so happy and carefree. It's a good feeling to know God will meet all your needs. Yes, buddy. It sure is. Well, you've had enough fun for one day. Go get some rest. Moon and the boys and I got this. Alright, Dark, enjoy yourself. No problem there. I know God's taking care of me the same as he does all those birds and fish. Hey kids, welcome back. Mr. Chip here, and we are still talking about the week that it took God to create the heavens and the earth and everything else. So we're still in Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 to 23. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas and let the birds multiply and fly through the air. Evening passed, and morning came, marking the fifth day. Isn't it pretty cool that he was creating fish and rabbits and deer and what have you so that Adam and Eve would have something that they would be able to feast on later on? quite the thought he had. Well, think about that this week. Back to you, Mr. Sean. Thank you, Mr. Chip. I appreciate you reading that story for us today. So, what did God create on the fourth day? Well, he created the fish and the sea and the birds of the air. What did God have to create before he created the fish and the birds? Well, God created the waters, like we, like we learned last week. He created the word, the water, so the fish could live in it. And he created to create the sky, so the birds could fly in the sky. Do fish and birds and worry? Do they worry about what they need? No. No, they don't. God provides for them. Does God provide for us like he provides for the birds and the fish? Does God provide for us? Yeah, I think he does. I think he provides for our every need, even if we don't ask him. God provides, because he loves us more than the fish and the birds. Does How can we remind ourselves, through the fish and the birds, that God provides? It reminds us that God provides for the fish and the birds, because he provides for them. And we know that God provides for the fish and the birds. We can know for certain that God will provide for us. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. And for those of you who have never accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, I invite you to join him today so you can know what it means for God to provide for you. Let's pray. And let's ask Jesus into your heart today. Heavenly Father, I know that I am a sinner. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for calling me. I believe in you. I accept your free gift to me today. Please come alongside me and lead me and guide me and direct me. Come into my heart and be my Savior. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for calling for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For the rest of us, Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you so much that you provide for us. No matter what we do, no matter what we can say, you always provide for us. Thank you for providing for the birds and the fish 
and all the animals that you see on the earth. Thank you for providing for them. And we know that since you provide for them, that you will always provide for us. Because you love us so much more than the birds and the fish. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing our last song. Sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. prayer with us today, I invite you to give us a call. The number's on the screen. Give us a call. Let us know that you prayed that prayer with us today. Thank you for joining us today. We invite you to come alongside us next week as we continue our series and we learn about day six next week. Until then, have a great week. You are so loved by Jesus Christ. You matter. You are so loved. Remember, God provides for us because He loves you more than He loves the birds and the fish. You are important. Until next week, have a great week. God bless. Because His way is good. His way is great. Jesus is the only